AS12 installation in Red Hat Linux. In this lecture, we will see how to do shared installation. In shared installation, we can do installation in two different ways. Login with the root user or the super user or login as a non-root user. But this user should be a member of MQBR KRS group. And also this user should have write access to slash where slash MQSI directory. First, I will use root user to install the ACE package. Now I log into root user, enter root, enter the password, sign in. Now the root user is logged in. Now go to the installation package. The installation is packaged to IBM folder under OPT. I'm opening that OPT then IBM. This is the installation package version 12.0.9. Now I'll open the terminal here. The path is slash OPT slash IBM. Now we'll unpack the zip here then we can open the toolkit and also run the MQSI commands. Before that, let's check IBM folder having the right access. It is having the right access. Now I'll go back to IBM folder. Now we will unzip this using tar command xzpf then the file name enter it takes some time now it's completed unpacking check the folder here is hyphen 12.0.9.0 is created. Go inside this folder. LS. These are the contents of this folder. From this we have to accept the license. The command is dot slash is then make registry global then accept license we are giving make registry global here because this installation is used by other user also it's not for the single user it's a shared installation now hit enter accept license accepted now it's creating the mqbr krs group now it got created now we will check the mqbr krs group grep mqbr krs slash etc slash group now this group got created now we will see the other one option that working directory created or not the working directory location is cd slash where slash mqsi it is there you can see the contents of the mqsi folder here whenever we create any nodes it will come in the components currently the component section is blank nothing is there here now we will start the toolkit i'll go back to the location installation location cd slash opt slash ibm ls go inside ace now open the toolkit dot slash ace toolkit it's opening the toolkit now
is taking this workspace root slash IBM is T12 then the workspace I'll keep as it is launch now this workspace opened here here you can see integration servers and the integration nodes now we will create integration nodes here I'll use this commands here before that we need to set the MQSI profile for that we'll go to the server ls bin now we'll set the command before setting the mqsi profile this command will not work you can test this mqsi list command not found now we will set the profile here dot space dot slash mqsi profile now it's set now mqsi list is working there are no integration nodes now I'll create one integration node here mqsi create broker I'll name it as node 1 enter successful command completion now it's created the node it will show it here you can see here node 1 created now if I enter mqsi list it shows the nodes available now currently one integration node is available it's showing here also you can check the component section here in the where mqsi folder i'll go to slash where mqsi here go to components cd components ls now you can see the node 1 folder got created here it has the server configuration file cd node 1 you can see node configuration file and our rights folder here now we'll create the integration server i'll create from the toolkit here create local integration server and i'll keep as it is and it takes all the default values available finish it created the test server it will take working directory as the current workspace slash root slash ibm slash st12 slash workspace i'll open this workspace you can see the folder created for this server you can see the local integration server has been started using work directory of the same current workspace now i'll open that st12 workspace you can see test underscore server it is having all the details about this integration server now we will log into other user and try to create the nodes or any other mqsi commands currently i logged into root user now i'll switch user here and i log into user prashant sign in as we did a shared installation it should be available for other users also now this user is logged in and i will open the terminal here and go to the path installation path slash opt slash ibm i'll enter it again cd is now i'll go to server to set the 
command profile cd bin here i'm setting the profile dot slash dot space dot slash mqsi profile now it's set now i'll try to execute any of the command i'll try mqsi list command here now it is not allowing mqsi list command for this user this prashant user you can see the error message here permission denied there are the reasons they given here one of the reasons is does the user id have the correct authorities for example member of the mq brkrs group now this user prashant it's not part of the mq brkrs group that's why he's not having the authority to work on any of the ibm components let's do that and come back again to work on this commands now i will add the user to the mq brkrs group now i'll use sudo user mode hyphen a this append group that is mq brkrs add user shant now before this i'll verify the user graph prashant then slash etc slash group currently prashant user is part of wheel group prashant and the mqm group now i will use the command to add this user to the mq brkrs group sudo user mode then hyphen a g group name mq br krs then the user enter password for prashant now it's added let's check the grep command again now you can see prashant user is added to the, this group now mq br krs group now we will try the command again before that we'll log off and log in again to take effect i'll close this i'll log off this user again login now user logged in now i'll go to terminal go to installation path cd server cd bin now set the profile dot space dot slash mqsi profile now run the command mqsi list it is working you can see integration node node 1 is stopped mode now i'll create one more node from this user mqsi create broker node 2 now the node 2 got created you can see mqsi list you can see two nodes here is in stop state using command you can start it mqsi start node 1 the command is initiated it will take some time now you can check the status mqsi list now you can see node 1 is running it giving the in this lecture we have seen how to do shared installation using root user